That was back when I had curly, curly, curly hair. Yes, I remember you had curly I look at those pictures and look at all this thread. Like, where did those curls go? It was pretty. The first time Elsie saw Liz dance with Betty, he knew she was the girl he'd marry. And then this was our wedding. Now, 66 years later, Elsie and Betty Solace look back on a marriage, a lifetime really, without regret. Can't complain about nothing. <laughs> really, if I did, I'd be a fool. Elsie is 89 years old. He's dying. He has stage four heart failure. His breathing is labored. It's difficult for him to walk from one room in the house to the next. The constant pump of the oxygen machine reminds everyone in this house L.C. is not well. Nice and deep. Congestive heart failure, L.C.'s condition, is one of the most common reasons people over 65 are hospitalized. But L.C. hasn't been to the emergency room in two years. Instead, he's chosen hospice care. How are you doing today, L.C.? Oh, pretty good, Doc. You good? Good. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> On this day, he's being examined at home by his family doctor. He also gets regular home visits from a team of nurses and therapists. His symptoms are being palliated. That means doctors can't reverse his condition or make him better, but they can make him comfortable as his heart grows weaker. Deep breath in and out. Again. To be eligible for hospice, a patient must have a terminal illness and six months or less to live. When Medicare introduced the benefit back in the 80s, most hospice patients had cancer. Today, the most common conditions are those that make predicting death difficult. Susie Johnson is the vice president of Sharp Hospice. A patient with a chronic medical condition, debility and decline, dementia, heart failure, um, end-stage kidney disease, things that are medical, pulmonary disease, Parkinson's, go on and on. Their trajectory is different. It's a slope that takes time and a lot of time. And then they begin to decline, boom, 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 like this. And then they go. Across the country and in San Diego County, more people are choosing hospice. Ten years ago, 10,600 people were treated in hospice in San Diego County. In 2011, that grew to nearly 14,200. While the majority of people in hospice die within the first month, there are a growing number who live past six months. In San Diego County, one in nine outlived their six-month prognosis in 2011. And every day they're in hospice costs the government money. Under pressure to save money and find fraud, Medicare wants to know... Were they really dying? San Diego Hospice, the largest in California, has been the subject of a Medicare investigation for the past two years. Kathleen Pecure is head of San Diego Hospice. We've narrowed the window of patients that we take on because we're so, you know, we're so specifically looking at it through a very strong lens of compliance. San Diego Hospice has even discharged patients they now deem as ineligible. In other words, not terminal. Experts are asking whether it makes sense to limit care for a growing number of elderly, chronically ill patients who would benefit from it in the last year, even two years of life. It begs the question, when does end of life begin? How do you take care of patients with advanced illness that may be close to end of life, but maybe not terminally, may not fit into that eligibility Perfectly. Kathleen Pecure and Susie Johnson would both like to see a change in the rules, allowing the chronically ill to have access to hospice before the final six months of life. A benefit of 12 months or less, assuming the normal course of the disease. That might be more appropriate, considering patients live longer with chronic illness than they did when the hospice Medicare benefit was instituted in 1982. L.C. has been receiving hospice care for about 13 months. Hey, like I asked you once before, how long do you think I got? <laughs> and I know you don't know. I will tell you the same thing I said. Yeah. If I had 100 people in your situation, <laughs> some would be here um, mm. for many months and some would be here just for a few days. Yeah. So we just yeah. got to be prepared.
Elsie is allowed to continue hospice care because his condition continues to get worse and his prognosis hasn't changed. He can't go much farther with much more fluid and his heart's going to fail. He is getting every last breath out of life that his body will give him. And I think he's waiting to turn 90 years old the 2nd of April. Uh, he's going to be I, old. Well, I don't think I'll be here. Well, we don't know. You've surprised us so far. We just <laughs> have Donald no idea. Don't think I'll be here either. <laughs> well, he doesn't know. He's guessing just like we are.